What's up, dude? How you doing, dude? Good. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're talking about the Overseer today. The Overseer. Uh, it's a stereo filter inspired by DJ Mixers and DJ Software. Um, I'm here with Matt Tanner, Love Cosmic Love. Hello. Um, so have you, have you used, you've used DJ Mixers and stuff before. Mm -hmm. And um, so you're pretty familiar with the concept. Um, but the Overseer's got a couple different things. So um, right now we don't have it patched up. It's just... Um, so we're going to show you the patch first, and then we'll show you how to patch it up and kind of what it sounds like. So bring up the patch. This is the patch. So with this patch, you know, we've got plenty of different options that we can use, just like mute the kick drum, take out the, take out the bass line, bring the kick drum back in. You know, we can do a pretty cool performance just with this patch but um, we don't really have uh, one you know way to transition into the next stuff and then also like just like a master effect to uh, affect the whole thing so that's where the overseer comes in so to patch it up what we're gonna do is right now we've got the sin the stereo cinema turn of the performance mixer going into the muscle and yep. so before we hit the muscle, we're just going to hit the overseer stereo in. So we'll take the inputs and put them there. And then we'll grab some shorty cables. Shorties. And put them over into the muscle. And so now the patch, uh, this is the bypass switch. Mm -hmm. So if the light's on, the filter's on. If it's off, it's just completely bypassed. So we can just take a simple bit from the patch in here. And um, what's nice about the Overseer is when you turn it on, if the knob is in the middle, the filter is bypassed. And so we've got two filters. We've got the high pass filter on this side, low pass filter on this side. So one thing I hear a lot of techno guys do is like, they'll be playing a patch, and instead of taking the kick drum out, they'll just take out the subs with the filter and let it ride for a little bit. And then when you want to drop it back in, you can just bypass it. Right. Just have that kick drum go back in. So um, really good for drops. Yeah, drops and um, transitions from one part to the next. Because we could be like going full here and then like bring this in. And then like we could just say like, let's take out the tambourine. Which is that four, so we'll just take out the tambourine and drop into the kick drum and the bass line. Yep. So it's just kind of a cool way to make transitions and uh, make extra like effects happen on your master yeah. chain. Of course you can use it on different things, but this is what we thought would be fun to use it for. Um, so yeah, and then we've got the, the resonance, so you can add a little bit more character to the filter. A little bit more like bite to it. Yep. So leave it there and now I'm going to move the resonance down. Just yeah. With that. Smooths out. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, and then we've got a bunch of different CV controls, CV options we can do. But before that, let's get, let's do the stereo tilt. So something that DJ mixers don't have that we thought would be kind of a cool idea is um, offsetting the cutoff frequency from ear to ear. So you can really hear it in headphones, and it does that. It sounds super cool in the club. It's almost like a dizzying kind of effect. So what we'll do is put in a high pass here, and now you'll see hear it when I turn it go from left to right. Absolutely. It's really noticeable in the headphones, yeah. especially. And then with resonance, it's even more noticeable. Yeah. If you're standing in the middle of the system or you're listening at headphones, you can really feel how it's affecting the stereo. Field. Yeah, yeah, totally. So what are these three different uh, modes here for the tilt? So the, the tilt modes are, on. It, you, you can either apply it to the low pass side of the filter, the high pass side of the filter, or both. So in the middle, it's just going to be tilting no matter what, so you can hear that when I sweep up that it's just like gonna be in a different spot from left to right. Mm -hmm. on, on the high pass side, that effect's only gonna happen on the high pass side, but then on the low pass side, it's gonna be in both ears equally. 
Got it. Same side, same same as if, if it's on the low pass. Now it's going to be you're going to be able to hear the tilt options on the low pass side, but when we go into the high pass side, it's going to be the same position on both ears. Right. So something you could do cool for that is like a cool thing you do on that is like come over here and like maybe throw an LFO into this, so it's like modulating this side. But then when you come up here and you just want to do a drop, it'll just like you can cut out the subs like we were talking about and it won't be modulating or going all crazy when you just drop it. So that's really easy to remember because it matches the movement of the master knob too. For yeah. Left is lows and right yep. or highs. And then middle is equal. Yep. It's just cool. on both sides. And then what's this, uh, this switch above the tilt here? Oh yeah, the limit switch. So um, this switch above tilt here, basically you can use this like it's really cool for outros because if it's to the right it'll just let you filter all the audio out on either side so out of the audible spectrum but on the left side you can come up here and i think it's like limited at like 10 or 10 or 15k or something so it's yeah just not right the full there. audio and so spectrum. you'll never accidentally Drop cut it the all music. the way out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because don't want to cut the music if you're <laughs> playing a party. Yeah, so you can <laughs> so you can flip it over to the side and cut the music and be done, or you can leave it over here and then you'll never right. accidentally cut the music, right. which is a very useful thing. Like you said, yeah, you never want to cut the music in the middle of a party. Um, cool. So there's that, and then this switch is one of my favorite switches. So one of my favorite features. So right now it hasn't been active this whole time. It has not been active okay. the whole time. Um, basically, what we've got is, these are the CV controls, so these are attenuators over the low pass and the high pass side of the filter, so we'll, we can, we'll put some CV into those in a minute, but, um... So you can only hear those when this is active and there's CV in? No, no, so, they're, if, if it's onto the left, you can use these as attenuators, so we can throw in, let me grab a longer cable here, um... We can throw an LFO into like the low pass side, and it's you can hear it filtering. Mm -hmm. If we go to this side, it's still filtering. If it's in the middle, it's not going to filter. So it's positive, negative reaction, and then in the middle. But what we can do is if we flip that switch to the right, we're automatically sending five volts to these knobs. So now these knobs become controls for the filter independently. So at noon, they're zeroed out. And low pass, we go left. We can filter out the lows. High pass, we can filter out the highs. Cool. So, so you one, can mix and match. So you can mix and match now. So you can say like, have your have full control over them and kind of do a little bit more finite control than just the middle knob. And um, one thing that's like kind of fun to do over that is just leave this up here. So now you can always use that, always use it to just filter out the highs, take your subs out. But then you can like bring this down low pass and just get some like crazy low pass sounds while the highs are still out, your subs still aren't hitting. Right, some and cross filtering. Yeah, so exactly. it's like, cool. So you can have the two filters kind of fighting each other. Yeah, so you can, you don't always have to be just the highs or just the lows, yeah. get more control over exactly, exactly what frequencies you want exactly. to target, whether it's with these or both of these or all three. Right. Cool. And when I was doing, I used to do a lot of like Ableton Live performance, and when I was doing that, I always had a MIDI controller set up with two knobs, mm -hmm. for one for low pass, one for high pass on the, on the master. And so that's where the idea for this came out out of is like we wanted to be able to do one knob so it was like a DJ mixer but at the same time I still really wanted to be able to do both at the same time yeah so we gave us you know we just gave the module the best of, the best of both worlds that's awesome so um I think we've gone through most of the controls let's do uh let's take that same uh LFO that we were using earlier We'll plug it into the master. So the master input for CV is just like the this is the master knob, right? So this does this doesn't have like a control of how much CV can, you can use. It's just the range, and you can offset how much you're using here. So if we go like a little bit slower there, you can do both CV. So I don't know. Um, you could use like a. You could use a sequencer to kind of move different different parts, or um, 
uh, an attenuated envelope or uh, an attenuated um, LFO, or you could use like an envelope or a sample and hold. Sample and hold sounds pretty cool. I was doing that yesterday. Yeah. All right, and then we'll and that go master, back. That master CD, just like the filter on and off is relative to whether or not it's bypassed or not. Yep. Yeah. Yep, so it's just it's just, uh, just like a guitar pedal. Um, Tractor and those those kind of mixers, or those kind of DJ softwares have like a bypass for the filter. And I always thought that was a really good idea. So we took that influence from there. So now we'll just kind of mess around with the CDs and kind of see what we can do. Cool. So this is going into the tilt right now? Yep. So I'll do like a slow LFO into the tilt, and I've got those, I think it's about 16 notes on the sample and hold on the master here. <laughs> yeah, that's really dancing around the stereo field. So, I mean, this is just like a super cool like effect you can just turn on for a little while as a break, mm -hmm. and then just drop it back in. Turn that kick drum up a little bit more. Turn that resonance up. Wow. And then if we say, let's put the tilt only on the low pass side. And then we'll take out the master here. So you can hear yeah. it oh, transferring. Yeah. And then we can come back up. Yep, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> exactly. So right now we've got this patched in the master section. Yeah. The performance mixer send and return mm -hmm. um, but you don't just have to use it for masters like you can use it for yeah of course what, it's still just a stereo filter so yeah. you have a lot of options exactly like, um you could use it for you know stereo pads um one thing we've done is run bass into one side and mm -hmm. pads into the other and you basically have two filters that you can control at once yeah um and then we, uh, and then yeah, the it's really great for like sub mixing your drums if you just only want to cut out the subs on that kick drum and you've got like a sub mix going through a muscle, you can throw it through the overseer first um, or after, depending on what you're kind of going for. I personally like to have my compression after the filter just to make sure that it like this. Oh, one other thing I didn't mention that I'll mention now because I was about to go into <clears throat> filtering. You know, if you put a filter into a. Uh, a compressor just like to make sure you don't quack too hard or something like that you know but with the overseer without any cv going into the resonance it's not going to self oscillate so you can't there is no way even if you're playing super hard you know you're going for it that's the that's the highest that we allow the resonance to go without cv mm -hmm. um so you can't accidentally spike the crowd with resonance right. either which is a very important feature. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, we've all, I think we've all like seen DJs or, you know, live, live acts try to test their filter or something and just have it and just, it's not quite what you want. Um, but you can, if you'd like, you can, you can throw CD into the resonance and take it beyond that spectrum and make it even more squelchy. So it's just kind of going with that. But yeah, I, I just always put the muscle after that because I like, I like my compression to be the last step. Mm -hmm. um, but it does sure. sound really nice to compress before you hit it and then you have more of a, you'll have more of like a level, um, a level input, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know, yeah, it's a... Uh, more compressed input going into the filter, and then the filter won't be reacting to dynamics as much, I guess. Um, but it'll be, and then, you know, but I just like to push it afterwards, so then mm -hmm. you get all the, all the transients are hitting the filter and making the filter react the way that it's reacting, and then the compressor is, after the fact, making the everything sound smooth and level. Yeah, it's like final stage post mix compression yeah exactly cool i think if we could do this case again i'd put like four maybe three more muscles in there. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> it's pretty awesome but um so maybe maybe let's try 
Slow alpha going into the tilt again there. Yeah. <laughs> Rock and roll. And now we're ready to start cueing our next bass line and yeah, you know, putting something else in and then whenever you want, you know, you can just drop out those subs, bring it back in. So you've got just a lot of options just to give yourself more variety yeah. with um, you know, a relatively simple, repetitive patch. It's also nice just having a big knob to kind of just control like everything going on like if you want to go like, yeah. what was that what'd you yeah. say <laughs> yeah and that's that's and one thing i did like utility yeah that's one thing i did recently too is like i had the microphone and i need to talk to the crowd instead of taking down the volume just take down those highs and say what up everybody how's it going blah blah, blah. my name's nasty nachos i like to party do you like to party and i really like nachos <laughs> if anybody wants to buy me some nachos afterwards and then yeah just drop it back in and continue but it's just a nice little utility as far as filter goes. <laughs> 